Well, hello, my YouTube family. It is finally Thursday, and yes, it is Thursday, and you see me. Guess what happened? Mr. Pop is downstairs in his man cave. Enough said. Hey, how you doing? Oh, yeah, I'm in the middle of a project. Okay. I know the signals, people. I know the signs. I know the signals. Boom! Kick me to the curb. But at, at least I know he's home because it's raining cats and dogs and the humidity is a thousand. And, you know, I got the AC on. And after this, you know, I'm going to chilly willy, going to max and relax and put on my summer com comfy cozies and I'll be done for the evening. I have no idea what I'm going to eat, but I know I have food. So, and uh, Mr. Man, my other man, um, he's under the bed. I don't know if he was in a mood this morning, so I don't know if he's still in that same mood. Even my father said, <laughs> my father, packages came for me, not makeup. Um, some stuff for him, as a matter of fact, for Tomcat. And my, my father's birthday gift, another one of my father's birthday gifts. He doesn't know. He's picking up these packages for me, and he doesn't have no clue that they're for him. And he opened up the, you know, opened up my door and put them, like, on my top stairs. And apparently, because Pop was telling me this, Tomcat looked, peeked over on the side stairs, and Pop said, hey, how you doing? And Tom just gave him one of these, like, mm. all right, and just kept it moving. Pop was like, your cat has a bit of an attitude. I said, you're not telling me anything I don't know, Pop. My cat. All of a sudden, now it's my cat. When he, when I call him on a daily basis, how's my boy doing? Oh, when he's cute and fuzzy, he's your boy. But when he's got attitude, he's my cat. I see how this works. All right, people. As you can see, red. And this is an old red. I don't even know if you guys will be able to get this. But this was quite popular back in the day. So you may still have shot. I don't know. I lined my lips with Nat Robbins. I don't I'll get this. This is an oldie that I don't think you'll find. Nat Robbins Mechanical Definer Lip Liner in Chianti. And here uh, I lined. And this is what I filled my lips up with today. This is a Chanel Glossomer, people. One of the original Glossomers from back in the day. And this one is called Pulsar. Y'all will be able to see that. But it's number 23, Pulsar. This was one of those hot red lip glosses. Like, I mean, it's so thick that and glossy that you know once you put it on, it's not going anywhere. It's so thick that it attaches itself to the wand. Look at the wand. I just use the glass from the wand. Seriously. I just go like this. And then there's no point in just using the sponge because you have all of this glass on the wand and it covers your mouth. That's, that's what I do. And I don't know if you'll actually need a swatch looking at it from my lips, but that is it, people. Hot red and deep. Pulsar. Mm. And then you have to do that. Let me get. Sorry, I'm just banging all over the place. So this is Pulsar, people. Glossomer Chanel. That's when I was a crazy fool back in the day. Buying lip glosses, just charging up my charge card. And what, 20, 30 years later, I'm still paying for those charges on my credit card? Debt, people, is a bitch. Anyway, um, that is Pulsar. Mm. It is sticky, but not irritatingly so. It's, it just grabs onto your lips and moisturizes all day. You don't even have to worry about drying out or anything of that nature. Um, I know that Chanel Glossomers are now called 
there's a, a French word, levitiers. I know it starts with an L or something. And I, I, I don't know if they're still called glossomers, but I know that Chanel still makes these. I don't know if, if Chanel makes them in these bright colors because I have, I think I have three or four of them. And, um, you know, back in the day, like but I'm talking the 90s and still doesn't have a smell so I know that it is still good that's how I could that's how I tell if, if my stuff is still good if it starts to smell foul odor boom La Garbaggio my old stuff old stuff back in the day they made it so it would last through an atomic bomb seriously no lie so this is one of the colors this is one of the shades pulsar now you know it was a red I was not going to walk away from this okay so there you have it, people. Um, that is lips of the day. Um, I really don't have any Tomcat stories for you. Uh, last night, you know, like I said, he's a nocturnal cat. So he will come out at night and get all purry, purry, friendly, friendly. And it doesn't have anything to do with food because, you know, his food is right there. Maybe that's why he's giving me attitude right now. Because he expects it to be fed. But I have to wait because I put the food in the refrigerator and cats don't like ice cold food. So it has to sit out there and get into room temperature and then he'll be able to eat. Maybe then, you know, he will come out of his attitude. But he had an attitude ever since this morning. So I don't know what the problem is. But last night, oh, friendly, friendly, uh, rub tummy, please. And oh, yes. Oh, yes. We are, we are coming out of our shell. But apparently it only happens at night. Every once in a while. Every so often, every couple of days, he'll give me a daytime, ooh, rubby, rubby, and then it makes it difficult for me to leave work, leave to go to work. But, um, hey, I don't mind. At least he's coming out on his own. He is coming out of his shell. He doesn't, he, he actually lets me walk by him now, and he'll just lie there or sit there. And before it used to be, as soon as he saw me coming toward him, just to maybe just walk past him, he would scatter around. Now he just sits there like, I know you won't hurt me. Which is true. I'm not going to hurt you. If I get too close, then he'll scatter away. But now he just lets me, he, he kind of tests the waters like, let's see, is she coming to attack me? Oh, okay, she's turning the corner. All right. So he is coming out of his shell nicely. He really is. He's coming out of his shell nicely. He's a quiet cat. He will purr when he wants to purr. And um, lately, as of a couple of days, for a few days now, since the last time I told you he purred, he hasn't purred since. But that's okay. That is all right. That is okay. Because I know that he can purr. That's all I was concerned about. The fact that I... But then again, he did meow at the vet. But the vet's visit was in June. And from July, August, nothing. So I was kind of concerned, but I know he purrs. I know he meows. So I'm good. I'm good. Attitude I could do with that. But then again, his mom can tend to have a little bit of a tune too. Only when I'm pressed to have a tune, like today at work. Oh. Oh, if it's one thing I detest people, and I'm sure everybody detests this, when somebody is trying to make you look stupid in front of somebody else because they know they have, a, they have an audience, so it's like they're on and I'm going to make you look foolish. Yeah, um, this is what happened to me this morning. Somebody walked into the, came in. I had to buzz them in. And... Oh, I'm, I'm just really early. And he came in like 9.45 or something like that for an 11 o'clock appointment. For real? Oh, I know. I'm super early. Um, I'm here to see so-and-so. And, -so, and um, you could just let him know I'm here. But um, I know that I'm really early, so I may have to hang out with you for a while. Okay, not a problem. He sat and did his business. He went to the men's room, blah, 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 this, that, and the other. So-and-so finally comes out. And says to him, 
Oh, they made you sit out here? Why didn't you come in? So now they're both looking at me. And I'm like, well, I know he's your guest. Oh, well, don't you know he works with the company? Obviously not. He didn't say Jack. And now you're filling me in. I don't know everybody in the company. There are people that work in the company, but work, you know, out of office and come in the office like once a month. Apparently he's one of those. I don't know all of the people that do that. I, I still don't know everybody in the company. We have over 500, 600 people. How do you expect me to know every single person? So this, this fool, so-and-so, is trying to make me look stupid in front of the guest. So I let it slide. They went in, had their meeting, did whatever. Finally, when the meeting came was done, they were hee-hee-ha-ha, -ha, and then they kind of started talking about earlier in the morning. And I was just, you know, I knew that they wanted me to look up and join them in the conversation. No, now you're going to look stupid. Because I was... I was reading my phone. I was like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. oh, well, you know, the next time I guess I just won't have to. And I go, I didn't know that you worked here. Don't try to make me look stupid because now you're now you're in trouble with me. I'm the gatekeeper. As far as I'm concerned, I'm the gatekeeper. If I don't know your ass, you ain't going nowhere. If you work for the company, how come your ID don't 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 work for the door? I said, why don't you test your ID? You do have one, right? He says, oh, yeah. And he went, beep. I said, well, why didn't you use your ID to come in? Then I would have known that you were with the company. Oh, um, I guess. He went right back to doing my phone. He gave me his, his visitor's pass because I thought you were a visitor. That's why I gave you the pass and made you sign the book to begin with. All that time, all that time he's signing the book and he's getting a visitor's pass from me. Not one time did he say, oh, you know, I really don't need that because I work for the company. I would have said, oh, OK, no skin off my back. Why do you have to wait for so-and-so to come out and pick you up and then try to humiliate me? No, no, Charlie, that's not working. Mm. So when he left, I said, well, I know you'll be back. So the next time you can just, just walk on in and go to wherever you need to go since I know you work for the company now. And they were like, hee, hee, hee. And I was just looking at them like, y'all two are laughing. I'm not laughing. So it was just that kind of a morning for me. The rest of the day was okay. No big deal. But please don't try to humiliate me. Please don't try to make me look foolish. Please do not do that to me. I detest people. I det and so-and-so, I've seen him a couple of times before, and now I know what he's all about. Okay, I got your number, Mr. So-and-so. I, I never forget somebody who tries to make me look stupid. You're on my list. So, that's all I have to say. That was that kind of a day. It's Thursday, people. I have just got... Four down, one more to go. Just one, just one more to go. The afternoon went a lot faster than the morning. So I'm hoping tomorrow, it'll carry through to tomorrow and have the whole day just zip by. Please just zip by, just, just go. In August, we have no days off. So there's nothing to look forward to until Labor Day of next month. So right now, all I'm looking forward to is payday next week. That's all I'm looking forward to is payday. That's it. And on that note, okay, on that note, I am going to say goodbye. Hit me up and let me know what you think. And I will talk to you tomorrow. See, you actually saw me on a Thursday. Is that something or what? Because I didn't kick me to the curb. Okay. You know, I love my pop. He can kick me to the curb anytime he wants to. As long as he's in his man cave doing whatever he wants to do, creating God knows what, Frankenstein, I don't know. As long as I know he's safe and sound, he knows I'm safe and sound, everything is copacetic. On that note, I love you. I love my YouTube family. Hit me up and do let me know what you think. And I will talk to you tomorrow. Bye now.